In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a couple of examples of engine noises. One from the bottom end, so that rod not bearing failure, and the other from the top side of the engine. I wanna make this video to have a couple of reference points to showcase people. When I'm training technicians, when I'm training apprentices, I often describe what engine noise may sound like to them and what to look for. But until you actually experience that noise, it can be very difficult to decipher. There's a lot of different engine noises that you can come across in a vehicle. So in this video, I'm gonna be given two example clips, one from the bottom end and one from the top end. In that first clip, I gave a sample of what bottom end knocking noise sounds like, aka rod knock. In the next clip, I'm gonna be demonstrating a similar type of noise, but on the top end. On this case, it's a Toyota engine, so this just demonstrates this can happen to any engine if you have poor maintenance. So you can see just how bad it is all the way along there. This vehicle has over 300,000 kilometers on it. The service history has not been ideal. It has had stretch service interval um, history as far as the customer is aware. And we can see the consequences of that. So if you look here, you have hard and heavy buildup throughout and there you have a couple of sample clips of a bottom end noise and a top end noise for your reference so if you are struggling to determine what uh, noise you have in your vehicle i hope those clips are useful for you to be able to decipher that for yourself a simple thing you can do if you're still struggling is use a mechanic stethoscope or a screwdriver listen on the block or on the sump on the bottom side then listen on the top side and you will be able to determine which is louder what is resonating through as you listen the main thing to consider is if it's a bottom end noise it's very likely that it's going to be major repairs and there's not much you can do about it a top end noise can be relatively easy to resolve or much cheaper to resolve depending on what's causing it i have seen oil feed pipes cause it which is um slight blockages i've seen oil grades at uh, correct oil or oil level being low cause the top end to actually rattle also time and chain slap and lifter so there's a multitude on the top side that can cause it depending on your engine design and manufacturer layout you can have a difference in noise on that top side and why does this happen what causes these noises on engines well the number one reason is maintenance people skipping their service intervals or stretching them out beyond what is actually safe for a vehicle in the long term if you maintain the vehicle to the best of your ability you're going to have a much better return and the chances of having especially a bottom end noise are very very limited in nearly every case i've ever seen it's always been because of poor maintenance i really hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it useful and informative if you did please like share comment and subscribe and i hope to see you in the next one thanks for watching Oh, <laughs> oh,